they're a very good side and, and you know at the moment they're, they're, they're a class above us and that's the reality there's no, um, there's no shame in saying that as I said we went out there to measure ourselves and we, and we found out we're short of where we want to be but that's okay we, that's our target and, and we'll bridge that gap. You know, there's no doubt in my mind there were times in these games where we had the best in the world on the rack, you know, and, and, and we had them backpedalling. And if, as long as we stay with that intent and keep driving, and that's got to be our ambition, because now if, if we've raised those expectations, we've got to start meeting them from now on. And not only that, once the players have faced the world's best, well, there shouldn't be anything to fear moving forward. It's not going to get any harder. The, the task isn't going to be any more uh, challenging than what it was this past couple of weeks. I don't want to keep going in as an underdog. I don't want to keep going in as somebody as a country who surprises, gets surprise results. I want us to be someone who's a country that's feared, and and you know we've done it in every other sport, and there's no reason why we can't do it in this. I think, from my perspective, if you if you look at Timmy's performances and Brescia's performances, um, they still showed uh, you know if their body's right, they can do it at this level. Uh, it'll be as much their call as mine. Um, Nothing really changes for me in terms of selection moving forward. I made it clear coming into this World Cup that fitness and form are going to be the key criteria. I'm going to be consistent with that. So.